Now to tonight's special report about an accused fraudster who's allegedly been selling off parts of a priceless Australian archive he was paid to protect. The future of millions of photos from the nation's oldest media company, Fairfax, are in limbo tonight as a complex court drama plays out in America's South. Whatever the outcome, the ABC understands there's no guarantee that Fairfax will get its material back. North America correspondent Lisa Miller reports from Little Rock, Arkansas. Fairfax newspapers have been recording history in Australia and across the Tasman for 170 years. Their photographers have captured everything from big news events to glimpses of ordinary lives. But that history is under threat over a decision to send the paper's valuable archives to America. Everybody was fooled by the illusion that uh, John was able to create, that he had this successful money-making venture in a niche that uh, few had seen for its potential, but it's apparently all a, a sham. Arkansas business senior editor George Walden has been on the trail of the man who's caused Fairfax so much grief, John Rogers. The entrepreneur was offering cash-strapped newspapers an economical way to save their deteriorating photo archives and still have access to digital versions. That was how the deal was meant to play out, except just months after Fairfax sent its photos to these warehouses here in Little Rock, the Rogers photo archive was raided by the FBI and a receiver took control. Behind the scenes, things were starting to come apart the seams in John's world. Thousands of photos were up on eBay, despite Fairfax not getting their end of the deal. And these photos are still for sale, with no barcode or sign they've been digitised. John Rogers had been living an envious life, a mansion on the water, a beautiful wife, and enough money to spend a million and a half dollars on a collector's baseball card. His collection of photos is secured in these warehouses where we unexpectedly found his now ex-wife, Angelica. So can you tell me whether what's happening with the Fairfax material, it's still being worked on or...? Um, the receiver is the one that handles all that. I'm not, I actually don't have anything to do with the actual newspapers or the photos. Do you think you and your ex-husband have treated Fairfax and this contract properly? Um, I really don't want to talk about anything that has to do with the contract or or any of the litigation or anything right now, to be very honest. Discovering Angelica Rogers here at the warehouse raises some questions for us, especially since the receiver says she was the one selling the Fairfax photos months after he'd been ordered by the court to take control of the archives. The receiver tells us there's 24-hour monitoring of the warehouses and Mrs Rogers is allowed limited access. I put in the check. Check bounced. Put in the check, check bounced. And I knew there was trouble. Documentary maker David Hoffman has also been burnt by John Rogers and is still owed $80,000. John Rogers said that they were making something like $125,000 a week on eBay. I didn't know anybody who could, selling old photographs, make that kind of money. Well, the future of the Fairfax photos is now in the hands of the court here in Little Rock. The man at the centre of it all, John Rogers, isn't talking, at least not on camera, but he has sent me an email in which he says he's already been called a thief and a huckster and the worst is yet to come. He talks of an unbridled passion for saving photographic history and that he pursued it in the face of breaking laws and rules. The question is, what will Fairfax get back? You'd be getting back a whole bunch of photographs, a whole bunch of uh, movies, like me, and you wouldn't really know unless you looked really carefully whether John Rogers had taken out the gold and the platinum. Photos from the age have been returned and Fairfax says it still has the negatives. They hope the digitising can continue and all of their photos will be accounted for. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Little Rock, Arkansas.